Think way back and try to remember the first cartoon series you ever watched, or comic book you ever read, or even a favorite action figure you had. You got it? Now type it down in the comments below. Someone recently requested I draw Skeletor from the Masters of the Universe, and it brought back so many fond memories as a child. I collected all the action figures and never missed an episode on TV. So today, we're going to draw Skeletor from the Masters of the Universe. Now the first thing we want to do is start in the center of our page with the upper brow. So we start on the left side, starting on the outside of the eye, we're going to curve in and then down. Just going to bend that in towards the inside of the eye. Now we're going to leave a gap and do the same thing over on the right. So we're going to line this up, we'll curve up, and then out. Let's go back to the inside and curl up the brow. Starting on the left, we're going to curve in and then up. Go to the right side and do the same thing. And now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. Starting on the left side, we're going to step in and draw a half circle. Go around to the bottom, round this out, and then pull that back up. And do the same thing on the right. I'm also going to add a small fold on the inside of the eye. So we'll start on the left side, we're going to come down, just pull that out. Do the same thing on the right. And then we're going to fill the eyes in black. Let's move in between the eyes and draw on the nose. Starting in the center, we we'll start with a point. From here, we're going to curve out and down towards the left. Go back to the center, curve out, and then down towards the right. And then from the bottom, we're just going to curl this back around and then up towards the middle. Come down and round out the right side. And we're going to fill the nose in black. Now we're going to move to the outside and draw on the cheeks. From the top of the brow, we're going to step out. I'm just going to curve around the eye, down, and I'm just going to pull that in. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're going to line this up on the inside, curve down around the eye, up, just lined up with the top edge of the brow. From the inside of the cheeks, we're going to step out, draw a straight line coming down. Do the same thing on the right. And we're going to connect the ends with a curve. We come down the middle and back up on the right. Let's draw on the top row of teeth. Starting in the center, we're going to curve up and then down on the left side. Go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to add a couple more teeth on either side. Starting back on the left, go up and then down and out towards the side. Now let's draw on the bottom row of teeth. Starting back in the center, we're going to curve in the opposite direction. Going down and up. Do the same thing on the right. And we're going to draw two smaller teeth on either side. And then from the top of the outside tooth, we're going to curve out and then down towards the jaw. Now from the side, we're going to step up and curve up and then out underneath the cheekbones. Let's fill that outside area in black. Let's move to the center and draw on the chin. From this point, we're gonna step in, we're gonna curve down in the middle, and let's pull that up on the right side. And then we're gonna move out and layer the jaw in behind the chin. Starting on the left, we're going to step out, curve in, and then down. Do the same thing on the right. And then from here, we're going to curve down and in behind the chin on both sides. Let's go back up and draw the top of the head. Starting over on the left side, we're going to start by going up, and bend this in towards the top. We'll round up the head, and then bring that down on the right side. And then we're going to add a fold along the top of the brow. Starting over on the left, curve up, 
and then out, line this up on the right, and we'll do the same. Let's go out to the side of the head and draw the inside edge of the hood. Starting on the left side, curve out around the cheek. I'm just gonna pull that down to right about there. Line this up on the right, go out, and then down towards the same height. Now going back over towards the left, curve down and in, just underneath the chin. Now as we get towards the center, we're just gonna hook that back down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down, around the jaw, underneath the chin, and we'll hook that down. Let's fill the inside area of the hood in black. Now we're gonna move over towards the left and draw the outside edge of the hood. Starting from the brow, we're gonna step out. Start by curving out and then down. I'm just gonna pull that down and then in towards the center. So I'm leaving a little gap just beside that center point. Now the tip of the hood is gonna flop over the left side. So from here, we're gonna step down, curve out and then up. And then from here, we're gonna work our way up towards the top center of the hood. Curve in. And then up, we're gonna round this out, come up towards the center point, right in the middle of the head. And then from here, we're gonna work our way down towards the right side. Go out, and this down towards the right, towards the same height that we have on the left. And we'll curve in and then down. I also wanna go back up and draw the bridge of the nose. Starting over on the left side, I'm gonna draw a curve, going up and then down, just up above the nose. All right, now let's move down and draw the side of the body. Over on the left side, underneath the hood, we're gonna curve out and down towards the left hip. Go over to the right, and we'll do the same thing, the same height. Now let's close off the bottom. Starting back on the left, come down and back up on the right, step up, and draw that same curve going across. Let's add some detail to the body. We're gonna start right in the middle with a circle from the center, go all the way around, and back up, and we'll draw a smaller circle in the middle. Let's add the crossbones in behind that circle. We're gonna start on the top left, curve up and back around, go back out and then in. Now I'm going to take that and flip it over on the right. So we're going to line this up, curve around, go back out, and then in. And we'll take these two and flip them down along the bottom. So we'll start back on the left, curve around, come down and back up, and we'll do the same thing over on the right. Now going back to the top of the body on the left, I'm going to come down and then bend that in towards the side of that circle. Do the same thing on the right. I just wanna trace this out along the top. Stepping in, come down and in. The same thing on the right. We're also gonna add a strap across the bottom. Starting on the left hip, just above the belt. Curve in and up. The same thing on the right. I'm gonna step up on the side of the body. Curve in and up. Now we're gonna add those three flaps coming down the center. You need a gap in the middle, we draw two straight lines. One on the left, one on the right. We're gonna step out and draw another line. Now we're gonna connect the bottom of the inside lines with a V. Coming down, then up, and then the outside two lines on the left, and also the right. And we're also gonna add three small circles along the bottom, starting on the left, I'm just line this up all the way out towards the right side. And then from the top points, we're going to curve out the inside leg. Let's start on the left. Curve out and then down towards the heel. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, we come down and then bend that up towards the toe. 
Now back on the left side, let's draw on the top of the foot. From the toe, we're gonna curve up. We're gonna bend this down in towards the heel. We'll stop right about there. Do the same thing on the right. Going up, and then down. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom. We're gonna take this curve, step up, and just trace that across. Now we're gonna go back up to the hip and draw on the side of the leg. Let's start from the left hip. We're gonna go out, round up the leg, and then pull that in on top of the foot. And then we're gonna draw the edge of the boot cuff just up above the foot. Starting on the left side, on the outside of the leg, go up with an angled line. And from here we're gonna curve down and then in towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're gonna line this up on the inside out and then up, and go down and out. Let's trace the edge of the boot along the bottom. We're going to step down, a straight angle line, come down and in, and same thing on the right. Now to go back up to the hip, we're going to step down, curve in, and then down in behind the flap, do the same thing on the right, and we'll color those in black. Let's move back up and draw the flaps on the shoulder. From the top of the body, we're going to step down, do an angled line, come down and out, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now from the end, we're going to angle up and out with a short line, go up and in, and we'll draw that same angled line going in behind the bottom of the head. Then we're going to add one more flap on top. From this point, we're going to go straight across and then following that same angled line going up and in behind the head. Let's add a small circle along the end, starting on the left. Do the same thing on the right. Now the ones on top is going to be a half circle going up and then down. Let's move back over towards the left side and draw the arm holding the sword. So we start in behind the flaps, curve down, and then out towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we're gonna draw on the thumb. We're gonna go up, come down toward the tip of the thumb. And we're just gonna curl that back up. Let's add the palm. From the top of the thumb, come down, and then hook that in. And then we're gonna layer three fingers in behind the thumb. Starting at the top, draw a half oval. Going out, and then in. Let's come down towards the bottom, curve out, in and then up underneath the thumb. And we'll do that one more time. Now the sword's gonna be angled out towards the left. So let's start on the top of the finger and draw a straight angle line. Going all the way up toward the tip of the sword. And then from the bottom we're gonna step up, draw two angle lines, going up and out towards the side. And then from the left side, we're gonna go up, just gonna bend that out. And the same thing on the right. Going back up to the top, we're just going to bend this out and then down toward the left side. Go back up to the top, then out, and then down towards the right. And then we'll draw on the hilt. Starting from this point, we're going to curve out and then in, going the opposite direction on the right side. And then from the inside, we're just going to curve in and then back out along the sides, and then from the bottom, it's going to curve out and then back in behind the finger, and then on the right, we'll just curve back in behind the thumb. And then we'll move down towards the bottom of this finger and draw the handle, coming down and up, almost like a half circle. And then from the inside of the handle, I'm going to curve in and then up, Let's step back down, come in, we'll bend this up in behind the body. Now we're gonna move over towards the right and draw the arm hanging down the side. So we're gonna line up the arm, go out and down towards the wrist. And from the wrist, we're gonna draw the thumb, a small half circle, curving in and then out. At the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. And then we're gonna curl three fingers around, starting at the bottom of the thumb, come down, and then bend this up around the bracket. Step down, 
from out and up the second finger. And then the third finger, we go out and pull that up in behind the shoulder flaps. And that's pretty much it. There's Skeletor from the Masters of the Universe. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.